organizing this. Guys, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna split into two groups when we get going. So older kids, you're gonna be on this side with half of the half of the player and coaches, and then the younger kids we're gonna be over here. Thank you. Diana Akopova led the Bucks to the NCAA South Region Championship for the first time since 2004, earning conference, regional, and national player of the year honors. She led the nation in four statistical categories, including kills and points. She set Barry records of kills in a match with 42 against Tampa on November 4th and kills in a season with 670. As National Player of the Year, she was named a finalist for the Honda Award as the top female athlete in Division II. Charlotte Armstrong took a unique path during her Buccaneer career. She started out as a member of the women's basketball team, became a rower after her eligibility there, became a graduate assistant coach for a year before returning to the varsity eight boat this season. She posted the top 2,000 meter time on the crew this year and raced in all the top events. She helped the V8 to a second place finish at the Sunshine State Conference Regatta and the V4 to a top 10 finish at the head of the Charles. She was named first team all SSC and was a team captain.
McKenna DeLong joined the women's soccer team as a graduate transfer from Wingate and quickly became one of the pillars of the team. She led the Bucks with seven goals and 15 points as they went eight, five, and four. She scored the first hat trick for the Bucks since 2016 against Albany State on September 3rd. She earned academic all district honors. Denise Kazan became the first tennis player in Sunshine State Conference history, either male or female, to be named the ITA National Player of the Year three years in a row, leading the Bucks to the NCAA National Championship and an undefeated record each season. She won the ITA Cup singles title for the second year in a row this year and became the first Buccaneer to win a match at the ITA Fall Championship against D1 competition. She went 45 and three in dual match singles play and 51 and seven in doubles. Kerberezo led the Bucks to a 12-4-4 record this year and the regular season championship in the Sunshine State Conference. The Bucks went on to win the regional championship and advanced to the NCAA Final Four at the Fall Sports Festival. Berezo was named first team All-SSC and to the SSC All-Tournament team. The United Soccer coaches tabbed him to the second team All-South Region. Barrezo was a key player in the Bucks' defensive third as the team averaged 1.3 goals per game and posted four shutouts. Additionally, he added four goals, including the game winner in a 1-0 victory at Eckerd and one assist. A.J. Ewart leaves Barry as one of the most decorated golfers in program history. A three-time first-team All-American, the 2022 Jack Nicholas Award winner is the best golfer in Division II, and the 2022 Golf Stat Cup champion as the best college golfer across all divisions. Ewart set the school record for career wins at 14, including three straight medals at the end of the year, the Bobcat Invitational, the Battle at the Shores, and the SSC Championship, where he set a record for low score and low round. He led the team to the semifinal of match play at the NCAA Championship and was the only member of the team to win both of his matches. Alejandro Ibanez Gallego is one of only two Buccaneers in history to win four NCAA National Championships during his career. A two-time ITA All-American in both singles and doubles, he was also named an academic All-American for the second time in his career, earning second team honors this year after third team last year. 
he reached the finals of the ITA South Region Championship in singles and earned an at-large bid to the ITA Cup, which he had previously won in 2019. Oh, let's go, Bob! Mike Reagan became just the fourth pitcher in program history to win 10 games in a season, going 10-2 with a 3.33 ERA. He led the Bucks to the South Region 2 title, tossing a complete game in a 6-1 win over host West Florida, striking out 15 to tie for the second most in a game. He is just the eighth 20-game winner in program history and the first since 2012. The Bucks advanced to the Super Regional for the first time in school history. He was named second team all Sunshine State Conference after striking out 95 batters in 97.1 innings, both of which ranked second in the conference.